In 2010, the Robinson High School lacrosse program was started by a young man right out of college, Coach Smithers. He started playing lacrosse in upstate New York in a small town called Watertown, where one of his friends introduced him to the sport and he hasn't left it since. I think I couldn't let go of the sport. For some reason, lacrosse is a type of sport where it's, it's very hard to just move past it. I, I really, truly think that uh, once you start playing, it's something that you, you want to keep doing for the rest of your life. After moving down from upstate New York to Florida, Smithers decided to take that opportunity to start a program in South Tampa. Knew that there was going to be a push to get public schools in Tampa Bay to go varsity uh, and with a feeder program right down the road with South Tampa Sticks seemed to be that Robinson was a very logical choice. After countless days of recruiting at Robinson, they finally had enough players to compete. Although they had enough players, only two of them had previously played the sport before, which gave the program a tough first season. You know, the first season was obviously a challenge. We'd had two kids on the program who had ever played before. Uh, and Esteban ended up getting a knee injury that first year. And so really it was one kid and a bunch of boys who were learning the program, and, or excuse me, weren't learning the sport. During the first couple seasons of the program existing, it was only an in-school club team. However, in 2014, they were able to become a varsity team. So 2014 was our first season as a varsity sport. And I'd like to say that it was different in terms of uh, a season for us, but really we were so excited to finally be on Robinson's campus. We got to practice at Robinson. We got to play at Robinson. That was something that we weren't able to do before. Although the program became a varsity team that year, the program graduated one of its founding fathers of the program, Avery Guyton. After he graduated, Coach Smithers found a way to keep his legacy a part of the team. My thought was, let's take Avery's number eight jersey and let's pick a kid and nominate this kid to wear number eight for the rest of their career at Robinson. While Guyton left his legacy on the program, Coach Smithers is also leaving a mark on his players. This program has changed my life in many ways. Uh, it's brought me closer to people that I probably would not have gotten close with if I didn't play lacrosse. It's taught me many lessons. We've had tough losses, we've had good wins, so it's just taught me a bunch about myself and others around me. Um, coach emphasizes a lot of different things that um, I feel like other programs don't. He emphasizes culture um, in our program, and he makes sure that we all have a bond with other players um, and these friendships that I don't really have any place else. The program has impacted many players, but there is still one thing Coach Smithers wants to accomplish with the program. Let's be honest. We have yet to have our first winning season. I want that winning season. I want that playoff spot. I want to legitimately compete for a state championship. With a winning season in mind, this is Ethan Adair reporting for Knights News Network.